This is an example video for the topic, finding the intercepts, asymptotes, domain and range from the graph of a rational function. Consider the following example. The graph of a rational function f is shown below. Assume that all asymptotes and intercepts are shown and that the graph has no holes. We're first asked to find any vertical asymptotes. A line is a vertical asymptote if the function increases towards infinity or decreases towards negative infinity as it approaches the line from the left or from the right. We see that this happens for the vertical line x equals negative 1 and x equals 6. We know that these lines are vertical asymptotes because as the function approaches from the left or right, the value of the function approaches positive or negative infinity. So, the vertical asymptotes of the graph of this function are x equals negative 1 and x equals 6. Next, we're asked to find any horizontal asymptotes of the graph of the function f. We know that a line is a horizontal asymptote if the function values approach that line as x increases towards infinity or decreases towards negative infinity. We see in this example that as we move towards positive infinity along the x-axis, the graph of the function approaches the y value 0. The same thing is true as we approach negative infinity along the x-axis. Because the function approaches the value y equals 0 as x increases to positive or negative infinity, we know that y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. Next we're asked to find the domain and range of the function f. The domain refers to all the x values that we can use as inputs into our function to return a defined output. This graph shows that for any x value, there is a defined y value except at our vertical asymptotes. At these values, there is no defined output, so these values are not in the domain. These x values that are not in the domain are x equals negative 1 and x equals 6. So we'll write the domain as the union of all values from negative infinity up to but not including negative 1, all values starting from but not including negative 1 up to but not including 6, and all values starting from but not including 6 up to infinity. We can think of the range of a function as the set of all numbers that appear as y coordinates of points on the graph. We see in this graph that for any value along the y-axis, there exists at least one point along the graph that has that y value. Because of this, we conclude that the range of f is all values from negative infinity to positive infinity. Finally, we're asked to find any x-intercepts and y-intercepts of this graph. The graph intersects the x-axis at x equals 2. So the x-intercept is 2. The graph intersects the y-axis when y equals 1. So the y-intercept is 1. At this point, we found the vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, domain, range, and x and y-intercepts of this graph. So we're done.